Mm -hmm. um, you know, in the leg, you can usually, you can, you know, see the shape of the gastrocnemius where it sort of bulges out here where the muscle bellies are and then it gets narrow um, when it turns into the Achilles tendon. Um, often you can even really visualize the point where the muscle gives way to the tendon. Mm -hmm. um, and that might be helpful information to know because often pain um, within a muscle is felt at the point of the junction between the muscle and the tendon. That's correct. Or the point where the tendon attaches to the bone. Exactly. So um, if a patient is coming to you with pain in this region that's you know directly on top of that musculotendinous junction, that might be telling you that there's something happening here. Right. Um, as you talked about, gastrocnemius and soleus actually mm -hmm. come down and make up the Achilles tendon and attach to the, the calcaneus here. And so one of the things that's really important to do if you're, you're having a problem in uh, the leg is to warm this place where that big old tendon attaches and the fascia kind of wraps around the mm -hmm. calcaneus bone here. Um, and then also you want to warm the tendons both proximal and distal. So once you get that all warmed up then I just pick that leg up good and warm all around the malleoli with my thumbs on this side. Ooh, let's talk about that. I can't resist the anatomy. Okay. So if we are in the lateral malleolus here, I hope the students know what tendons are passing posterior to that lateral malleolus. Oh, I know, I know. Yes, yes, go, go, go. <laughs> they used to be called the peroneal tendons. <laughs> yep, yep. Now they're the fibularis tendons. You got it, yep, fibularis <laughs> longus and brevis, beautiful. Yeah. Right. So you want to warm that all up, and I and then I'm going to do the same thing on the far side with my fingers, which you can't see, but just trust me, I'm doing it. And then I am just going to rest his paw on my shoulder and squeeze. That way, I can massage soleus. Mm -hmm. This, I believe, has the effect of sort of lifting soleus off the bone a little bit. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it and so normally it has a feels really broad attachment on both the fibula and the tibia. Right. So it needs help um, right. to be pulled away. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, you can do it real slow. Most people are going to need very slow movement in this. Is this feeling good to you, Matt? Yes. Good. And then uh, another way to work this bunch of tissue here in the leg um, is to, again with a loose fist, while dorsiflexing the foot and plantar flexing the foot. So you're just kind of working the ankle up and down as I you go? I am, yep. This is what's called a myofascial technique uh, because it works obviously more with the fascia than just a, a static technique where mm -hmm. you're you're kind of massaging the muscle, uh, but it doesn't really do anything to shift the fascia's position relative within to the and muscle. around the muscle. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And this seems to do that. Um, why don't we have Matt turn over and okay. have a look at things on the anterior side. Okay, so when we are helping our clients turn over in the classroom, what we'll do is we'll cover them back up, and we do that by just, you probably saw it, just pulling the sheet mm -hmm. at the bottom that covers them right back up. And then we lean our bodies 
against the table, holding the sheet between our bodies and the table, and make a tent uh, for them to scooch down towards your feet, please. And then roll over, starting your turn this way, lifting this shoulder and turning towards the knee. That's great. Excellent. Thank you. Mm -hmm.